G'day trainers, I hope you're all having a great day. We've just had the drop of what our next 7 star raid den is going to look like in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. As many of us have speculated, especially theorising about the Kalos DLC or South Kalos DLC, we knew that we are going to get some Generation 6 Pokemon, and this well confirms it. The next 7 star terror raid is going to be Greninja. Big Boy is going to have a Poison Terror type as well. First of all though, when is the raid going to occur? It's going to start on the 27th of January and run through to the 29th of January for its first run. Then it's going to be a little bit of a pre-Valentine's Day special going from Feb 10th to Feb 12th for the second run. Of course though, I'm sure you're all wondering, what Pokemon am I going to use to take on this giant poison ninja frog? And the first one that came to mind for me was, well, well the new evolution of the Poldean Wooper, Clodsire. And I'll get into why in just a second, but we're going to jump over to Showdown and have a look at what I think a good chance of what the Greninja's moves are going to be. So let's take a look. So jumping over, there are a few things that we're going to be able to assume. First of all is its ability is probably going to be Protean. Now I'm not sure how Protean works with Terra typing, but the only other option is going to be Torrent. Now Torrent is going to be a little bit of a scary option, especially once we do get it down to less than one third of its HP, because it's going to get a 50% bonus to all of its water attacks. However, given that this is a, obviously a rare special Greninja, I'm going to lean towards Protean, unless they really want to go crazy and give us the battle bond ability, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Now, being that it's going to be a poison type terror, meaning it's going to be weak to both ground and psychic type Pokemon which is why you can see I have got Clodsire as my number one choice. However, I'm sure there will be some others and we're going to continue to look at those over the coming weeks up until the raid. When it comes to moves, I had quite a few options, but I'm thinking at the moment this could be the most likely. Well, you know it's going to have some powerful water type moves, which is why I have got Hydro Pump here. It's just 110 base power. Nothing much more to say about that. It's kind of the quintessential strong water type Pokemon move. Then we've got Terra Blast because, well, it's a Terra Raid. We're thinking it definitely will. And by having a Terra Blast here, it means that will automatically Terra type to Poison, which allowed us to open up and provide a different move down below. Move number three, I'm thinking is either going to be Water Shuriken. Now it's not a very powerful move. However, it is Greninja's signature move. So I'd be a little surprised if they didn't put this in. However, if they do want to go for you know, more hard hitting moves, another hard hitting water type move maybe, then they might just as easily go towards liquidation. And finally, the reason I've popped Dark Pulse in here is because Dark Pulse is going to be super effective against psychic type Pokemon. So if we come in with any psychic types trying to counter the Greninja's poison, Dark Pulse is going to do an incredible amount of damage. Plus we've got the added benefit of a 20, well, benefit for Greninja. Definitely a detriment for us, but there's a 20% chance to make the target flinch. Now I'm going to be looking into this more over the coming days, and if I do think of any updates of what I believe Greninja could do, then we'll definitely update this and plan accordingly. When it comes to EVs and IVs, we know it's going to have six perfect IVs, which is absolutely terrifying. My thought would be it's going to have 252 EVs in special attack and 252 in speed, because they're obviously its best stats and then the remaining four in HP. I am predicting a naughty nature, even though that does reduce speed. With over 343 base speed though, I think we're okay. So that's the Greninja, that's what I'm thinking so far. However, like I've mentioned, this could adapt and this could change over the coming days and weeks. So moving on to what I believe will be a really, really good counter to the poison type Greninja, Clodsire. So, I've gone with a Terra Ground type Clodsire. So, being Ground type means we are, yes, we are going to have a weakness to water, grass, ice. However, we're going to completely nullify that weakness to water with the ability Water Absorb. Of course, every time we get hit with that, we're also going to restore 25% of our total HP, which is amazing. It also gives obviously the immunity to all water type attacks. For the item, I've gone with an expert belt. So the expert belt effect is holders attacks that are super effective against the target do 1.2 times more damage. Seeing that we've only got two attacking moves here, it means every time we attack, we will be dealing 20% more damage than we should be. So when I was putting this together, I knew I wanted to have a strong, strong attack for ground and psychic. The best I could come up with at first was going to be earthquake. 
However, that is going to probably be very, very dangerous against your allies unless you're running a Clodsire sweep and everyone else has either got Levitate or some immunity to ground type attacks. So I swapped out Earthquake for Dig. 80 base power, accuracy is 100%, and you've got that added benefit of being underground when Greninja's going to attack one turn as well. For the Psychic type attack, I've gone with Zen Headbutt. Again, 80% power, 90% accuracy, but the best part is you've got a 1 in 5 chance to make the Greninja flinch. We don't have many good stat boosting moves for Clod Sire. The best I've got is Curse, which will increase your attack and your defense by one stage. Of course, if you are getting low, we've also got Recover here, which will heal the user by 50% of its max HP. So with this build, we should be able to deal some very decent damage to the poison type Greninja, but also recover damage using the water absorb ability and recover. The EV and IV spread is, of course, ideally you just want six perfect IVs. However, I've got maxed out EVs in attack, which brings it up to 273, and maxed out special defense, because I believe Greninja is going to be hitting us with more special attacks than it will with attacks. And then Nature is just a very simple adamant, boosting attack while dropping your special attack. With this, you should end up with 402 HP, 273 attack, and a 299 special defense. So while this might not be an overly technical battle, it's going to be potentially cursing yourself several times and then digging or zen headbutting, whatever's going to work better for you. It does seem like this could be a really, really strong strategy, and I'm going to be beginning my training of a Clod Sire tonight. Uh, again, guys, this isn't going to be the only strategy. We've seen it many, many times. The ones that we haven't even thought of are going to come out, and when we hear of those, we'll cover those too. Best of luck when this raid comes around, and I hope to see all of your legitimate, official Greninjas running around in Union Circle 2. Have a good day and good luck.